I think those are some of the key parameters that determine yield. If you are planting a seed and out of 100 that you plant, you only have 70, you are losing on the yield. If you have something that can mitigate that, I think it's important to go for it. So I wanted to show the return on investment that you get. These are results from Zambia. So if you look at uh, the, the, the yield uh, on the untreated, the control, to somewhere around 2.52, 2 somewhere there. Then on the one that was treated with apron plus beans, it went up to 2.76. Now when we did the, the calculation, taking the price, say the price of soy to be 600 tons, $600 per ton, uh, sometimes I think it's, it's starting to go high and down, but we take an average of 600. Then average yield of two, 2.64 for the untreated. The gross income that you get, so you just multiply that by this, it's 1,500 per hectare. Whilst the one treated with apron plus beans, uh, we get a 10.3, 10.7% uh, more yield than the untreated one. So the yield was 2.7 tons per hectare. Then the, the gross income with apron plus beans was uh, $1,662 per hectare. So the income benefit is $78 per ton. Now, if you do the, the cost per hectare, the cost is around $6.5 per hectare. Now, if you uh, get the ratio of the return on investment for the Zambian results, we found 12 to 1. I think when you're having a return on investment of over, over seven, six, seven, that's, that's good. But when you get to 10, that's even much better. Okay, so these, uh, when you look at the average yields, these results are from South Africa. The average yields that they were getting in South Africa is around 9%. I think it's consistent with the results that we got in Zambia of around 10%. So on average, we are saying, uh, once you use this product alone, you get uh, a yield benefit of around 9-10%. So, um, for the, our South African colleagues, um, the grower price, say th they use 384. Then average yield, 1.8, for, that's for the non-treated. Then gross income, 691. Then apron plus beans used with 9% more than uh, the control, they were getting 1.96. Uh, gross income with, with apron plus beans, 753. So the apron plus beans income benefit is $63 per hectare. So the cost, 6.5. So you get return on investment 10 to 1. When you compare with ours, it was uh, 12 to 1. So on average, we are saying by using this product, you will have uh, a return on investment of not less than eight, between eight going up to 12. Now, uh, in conclusion or in, su in summarizing this product, um, we are saying uh, you secure your yields or your income if you use apron plus beans. And there are three reasons that uh, we're saying that. The first one is because it protects the most, some of the most important seed and so bone diseases. These are fung fungal diseases. Then there is optimal emergence with stronger roots and robust stand and growth. I think we saw from the results that our lady presented. Uh, there was optimal uh, emergence on the, pro on the plot where they used apron plus beans. We saw stronger roots, the root biomass on the, on, the, on the plant that was treated, as well as vigorous growth in terms of the, the plant. So all these are parameters that help or determine the yield. And we saw maximum quality and yield results with a higher return on investment. Now, before you ask questions, I would want to ask my colleague from South Africa, uh, who have, who have uh, used this product for a bit longer time, just to come and tell us uh, a bit of some uh, statements, as well as how to mix it, because he's an expert in uh, recipe development. Wayne, please. <laughs> 